I am banning Mr. Sterling for life from any association with the Clippers organization or the NBA. I am also fining Mr. Sterling $2.5 million, the maximum amount allowed under the NBA Constitution. Wow, that uh, it was swift as these things go and uh, probably as hardcore as it could without any kind of legal action taken by the police and there probably wouldn't be any. Steve Simmons, uh, were you surprised at how heavy this was? A little bit surprised. It, it was what I would have wanted Adam okay. Silver to do. But new commissioner, we don't have a history of knowing how he makes decisions or how he comes to things. This is his 88th day on the job. I thought he smacked it out of the park today. He came down swift. He came down hard. He had all the right notes. Um, it, to me, it was the perfect solution to a weekend of problems. Two and a half million dollar fine seems like a big thing. The man is wealthy. He can sell the team for an incredible profit oh, because he bought it for what would be considered peanuts to what it's worth now. I heard somebody earlier say 750 million. I, the Forbes magazine says the team is worth uh, above 500 million. Either way, uh, the guy's 80 and uh, probably can't spend all that money. However, losing the team that kind of rebuke is that's as hard as it gets within the sport. Yeah, and, he, and I suspect he'll fight this. Yeah. First of all, there has to be a three-quarter uh, vote of NBA owners to remove the franchise from him. And they can, they can revoke his franchise, basically, and so force him out. Yeah. But it, it will take 22 owners to do that. And I suspect they'll have the 22. Uh, I don't think anyone wants their name associated with Mr. Sterling anymore. And I think they've probably been embarrassed by him before. They don't want to be embarrassed by him anymore. This will happen, and they're going to force an old man to fight back through probably every legal means possible, knowing his history. Yeah. Uh, I listened to the tape of the conversation with his girlfriend. He is a married man, isn't he? Yes. But he tends to have girlfriends. Uh, that does not make him unique. Uh, no, it does not. Uh, the billionaire having the hot young chick. That's happened before. Was his transgression serious enough for this penalty? Um, I believe so because of what it does to your league, to your image, to your business. The way, I've never seen a story explode the way this one has this quickly. Uh -huh. With players upset, former players upset, people founded the league upset, owners upset, people pulling their business from the Los Angeles Clippers. If you play the tape independent, you have an old bigot, an old racist, and there are many of those in, in the world, and sometimes we turn a blind eye, unfortunately, to too many of them. Yeah. But in this case, the way everyone reacted, and in the way the world is now with social media, with instant commentary, I think the NBA had no choice but, but to distance him, itself from Donald Sterling, and, and it did that you know, superbly well today. Well, it's kind of amazing because really most people um, could not tell you the name of the owners of sports teams unless it happens to be their city and they're passionately interested in that particular sport. And in this case, most people, I would tell you, if you talk about this over the next 24 hours, will call him that guy from the NBA. They won't even remember his name. Yeah. But, but it's the same way. To, the, to me, this day is, is not so much about Donald Sterling. It's okay. about Adam Silver. And it's about a guy who's just taken over the NBA and was really not known to anyone very well yesterday. Today, he is a person who has galvanized his sport. He's brought fans together. He's brought players together. Everyone has come together against this person who has embarrassed their game and embarrassed the sport. And, and in doing so, I think this is one of the, as, as horrible as the situation has been, this is one of the greatest days in NBA history. I have never seen as much reaction and as many people coming together as are coming together right now. Well, another issue that I understood was uh, in play here is that actually, uncharacteristically, the Clippers were having a pretty good season. Well, that, 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 that's a weird thing in itself. Because one of the punishments here was he can't go to Clippers games ever again. Yeah. And, you know, for years, you wouldn't have wanted to go to Clippers games <laughs> ever. They were Even that, if you were the owner. They were that bad. Okay. This is now a good team. Yeah. And, this team has gone through an awful lot in the last few days with trying to understand who their owner is, if they didn't understand it before, what's going on, how are people reacting, how are their families reacting, how are their kids reacting. Doc Rivers, the coach, not sure if he's going to return under these circumstances. There are so many things at play here. And yeah. yet now, every, as I said, there's been a galvanization that I've not seen in any sport at any time in all the years I've covered sport. Who runs the team? 
I, I presume Doc Rivers does for, for now, okay. and probably whoever is in the business positions to run the team, but Donald Sterling cannot associate with the Clippers in any way. We're out of time, but we should take a second here to let employees everywhere savor the moment that the owner can get fired. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. Thanks very much. Enjoyed it. Stay with us on Straight Talk.